Hey guys, today I am going to be talking about a three-day cleanse that I just did. Um, I actually found it from Dr. Oz. Like, I was just looking into maybe possibly potentially like doing a juicing, juicing cleanse and I was on YouTube just scrolling through different things and I found Dr. Oz actually did a smoothie um, cleanse and it was just three days and so I thought that was perfect because I didn't think it could really last a whole week with just drinking juices and stuff and I was also worried of the taste um, so I figured just doing three days even if they tasted horrible I could maybe potentially get through them. Um, so basically the way he kind of had the three day cleanse, you drunk the same three smoothies. There was a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then you also got a fourth smoothie, which was basically whichever smoothie that you enjoyed the most as like a snack smoothie, but it was the same portions and everything. Um, so it was essentially like four meals since each smoothie was essentially a meal. And also First thing in the morning, you would drink a cup of green tea um, with lemon, and then it would be the breakfast smoothie. And then after the breakfast smoothie, you were supposed to take one half at least of a multivitamin and then also a probiotic. Um, and then you have your lunch, and after your lunch, you take the other half of the multivitamin and an omega-3 and then you'd have your snack dinner and at the end of the day you would have like a detox bath which was a bath with epsom salt and lavender um and so that was your day every day um so for the breakfast smoothie you were supposed to blend together a cup of water um a banana a cup of raspberries a tablespoon of flaxseed and then you'd have two teaspoons of lemon and a, and then you'd also have a tablespoon of almond butter and a half a cup of spinach. And you'd blend that all together. Um, by far, the breakfast smoothie was the best smoothie and my favorite. At the last day, I ran out of raspberries. So instead of using raspberries, I had some frozen strawberries and I just used that. It tasted just as good. Um, so definitely, I think um, if I would want to make a smoothie, um, I definitely would redo that one. For lunch, the lunch smoothie was the worst. Um, you were supposed to do four stalks of celery, one whole cucumber, one full cup of kale leaves, a half a green apple, a half a lime, a tablespoon of coconut oil, half a cup of almond milk and one cup of pineapples now okay the lunch smoothie was by far the one that even after making some changes to it I still struggled with drinking it it was just so bad um so the first day I got like the huge like full-size celery sticks that were all like in a bunch and so you'd like have to rip one off and I just chopped like the very top of it and the very bottom of it and I washed it and I threw that it four of those into the blender so each one was like this big um and then I chopped up a whole cucumber put that in and everything and oh my gosh it was so disgusting it was really really chunky and I just it was it was basically what I basically heard what celery juice tastes like where it's very very salty and that's exactly what it tasted like and then there was also I don't like coconut I don't like coconut flavored ice cream popsicles whatever I don't like um eating coconut I don't like coconut milk or water I just don't like coconut and so I could also taste the coconut so I had saltiness and coconutiness which I don't like all in my mouth and so I was only able to take like 15 sips of it and like I got nowhere it was just so thick I didn't it looked like I barely didn't drink it basically looked like I didn't drink any of it it was just so thick and I just I could not drink it I didn't end up having the snack that day um, and the dinner also was not that great. Um, the dinner smoothie consists of 
one half cup of mango, which I totally misread that. I thought it was just one half of a mango, so I technically put in a little bit more, and I just kept doing that because um, mango doesn't taste bad, so that was always a plus. Um, one full cup of blueberries. You're supposed to use one half cup of coconut water, but again, like I said, I don't like coconut, and I also just completely forgot about that, so I just used regular water, which was fine. Um, you're supposed to have, again, one cup of kale, one, one tablespoon of lemon, um, a half a cup, a half of an avocado, which I did not end up having because I bought avocados, but they, no matter what I did, I tried everything and they just didn't ripen in time. I, like, I baked them and everything because that's supposed to be a way to help them become ripe quicker. Did, end up, did not end up happening. So instead, I would just put some almond butter in there. I would just put like a tablespoon of almond butter. Um, and that's what I did instead of the avocado. I don't know if that's really a, the best like equivalent of doing that, but that's what I did. Um, and then you're supposed to put a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper in there. And then finally, you'd have one tablespoon of flax seeds. I think again it was just it was very chunky and the kale just did not taste good and honestly it wasn't even the taste really it was just the chunkiness so there was like clumps of like stuff and then there was like liquid juice and it, it just it, the mouthfeel wasn't good so I didn't end up finishing that one either so instead of eating, um, instead of just drinking all my meals that day because I was just like, there's nothing here. I, like, it's already seven, eight o'clock. I didn't really have a lunch. I didn't end up having my fourth drink, which was like a snack drink. And I was like hungry. I was really hungry. So I just had a little bit of chicken and some broccoli and green beans and it was a small portion it wasn't a very big portion um and so and i ended up not having my bath because i ended up having to do something until like 10 11 o'clock at night and so the last thing i really wanted to do was have a bath and also like i still live at home so my parents would be really annoyed if they heard the bath water running when they're going to bed so i didn't end up doing that either so Day one was basically an absolute and utter fail, but I was just like, I'm going to start over tomorrow, the next day, and have at it again. Again, breakfast was great. Um, this, I don't like, that's another thing, actually, I, I'm not a hot tea person, so actually the first day, I did the regular hot tea um, situation, but I didn't end up, like, there was just like a little bit, I just could not bring myself to drink. Um, I just, I don't like hot tea. It's just like makes me want to gag just thinking about it so instead the night before I went ahead and made the tea and let it steep for a really long time and then I put it in the fridge so it can be kind of like an iced tea situation and it was absolutely delicious so definitely if you're someone like me who hates hot tea which I think kind of doesn't you know might mess up the whole detox plan of I'm sure like having it hot is better than having it cold but I mean, it's still green tea, so I well, it's okay to me because I just could not have hot tea another day. It was just like, ugh. especially after experiencing the previous day with the lunch and dinner situation. So basically, what I did was, so I had iced tea and it was absolutely delicious. And I had my, and I would all, I didn't want to give up on just because I was doing a cleanse and not most likely not having as many calories and definitely not eating as many calories as I was used to. I still didn't want to give up on my working out or my workout routine. So I still worked out. So I'd have my tea and I'd work out immediately after that and go and have my um, breakfast immediately after that as well. So that way, and I'd also try and like normally I wouldn't even work out until like 10 sometimes even 11 o'clock, but um, during this time I would try and get um, downstairs and have my tea at like 9, so that way I was basically finished my workout at 10 or 10.30 at least. Um, so I had less of that like starving <laughs> sensation since I was so hungry. 
especially after the first time. And then lunch, what I did instead is I only used two of the stalks, so basically cut them in half, and that was my four stalks. And so I had a really chunky, I had like really thick cucumbers, they were very girthy. Um, so instead of doing the full cucumber, I just did half of the cucumber, and I did the same amount for all of the other ingredients, and I blended that in a blend tech, and it still was really thick. And so what I did, because my breakfast, all of the ingredients were small enough to fit into my ninja, so I could just quickly do that and have it in that little like portable ninja cup. Um, which was really nice and convenient and so what I did and I never had any problem with it being thick compared to the lunch and the dinner where all of the ingredients were way too big to fit into the, that little ninja so I would have to use my big blend tech blender and so I poured the smoothie from the blend tech into the ninja and I blended that up and it was the perfect consistency so I was able to drink all of that and I felt so much better um, actually having been able to have that, um, extra meal and everything that I did not end up having, having to be able to actually have lunch. And then for, again, I still, I didn't have that lunch until like three o'clock. So I had to like quickly at like four or five make the snack, um, which I just did the, um, breakfast smoothie for my snack. Um, that day and then just a few hours after that I think around um, 7 or 8 um, around 7 um, I had my dinner so that way it would be around 8 um, where I could have my bath and for the dinner on the second day I basically ended up doing the same thing where I poured it I blended it first in the blend tech and in the blend tech and then I um, put it in the Ninja and it was so good. Um, and that actually reminds me one thing that still made the lunch hard is the coconut oil. Um, because with coconut oil, if it's not warm or hot, it's in a solid form. So basically with each sip, you're having like a chunk of like not like a full chunk, but like, you know, a, a little bit of a small little speck chunk thing of coconut oil. So I really didn't like that, but I still just got through it and drank it. But the dinner, it was fine. It tasted good. I really wasn't a fan of the cayenne pepper, but I just rolled with it and went with it. Um, on the third day, like I said um, before, I did substitute the raspberries for strawberries because I ran out of raspberries. I didn't want to just go to the store and buy more raspberries when I, I, I don't even really eat raspberries um, like that. So I just went and used some strawberries that I had and I did a similar thing with the lunch and dinner where I cut back on the amounts and everything and they were so much better and I felt so much better waking up in the morning and going to sleep. The first night I could not sleep. I got a terrible night's sleep because it was so hungry and um the second night I still I was still like I didn't get as many calories that I'm used to so it still was a little bit harder for me to go to sleep and I did feel a little bit hungry but it wasn't like terrible I just drank some water and that helped a little bit then I was able to go to sleep and stay asleep for the rest of the night but definitely by the third day I was just thinking about food I was like I am so ready to have an actual meal. I'm not even a big breakfast eater, but I was like, I'm going to have the, I just could not wait to have breakfast. And I made the terrible decision to actually go and get like a McDonald's breakfast. I would not recommend so um, that at all. But after the I finished the cleanse, I, um, I weighed myself before I did the cleanse and I weighed myself after. I did lose one pound and honestly, like for me, the cleanse wasn't me trying to lose any weight or anything. It was just me getting as many fruits and vegetables in my body and in my system as, as, as possible. Um, I definitely have been eating more vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. 
um, just because I have been trying to make healthier decisions and eating choices and I've been meal prepping and everything. Um, but I also just wanted to see like how my body would react to that. For one thing, for sure, I was extremely hydrated, um, which was great because that was definitely something that I always struggle with. I sometimes like I'm like guzzling water and then sometimes I'm like not having water all day or maybe only have like two or three sips for the entire day. So that definitely was like the biggest improvement I saw. Whereas I was super hydrated, but obviously didn't last long because I went back to my same old habits, which really sucks. But I have been thinking and intentionally trying to drink water and I've noticed more like feeling thirst. Like I've acknowledged more when I felt thirsty and so I'm like, okay, let me get water. And I've tried to carry around my big like 40 ounce water bottle with me um, everywhere, like even everywhere, even to work and everything like that. Um, but like I said, at the end, the day after the cleanse was over, I went and had McDonald's and it was a day that I went to work too. And I didn't really plan out like, oh, I have to go to work and so I need to have something for lunch when I'm at work. And so I ended up again going out to eat and getting like chicken nuggets and fries and everything. And then when I came home, it was a similar situation in my whole house. We just did not have food. We didn't go grocery shopping or anything recently. And I haven't gone grocery shopping um, except for when I was buying all the fruits and vegetables for all the stuff that I needed for the cleanse. I didn't worry. I didn't think to worry about the rest of the week. Um, and so my parents also ended up getting KFC for dinner. So I a bunch of junk the day after. So I actually ended up going um, and gaining two pounds back after I lost one pound I gained two pounds back but which, I mean it's not that big of a deal honestly I don't really care that much about my weight I honestly don't care as long as I'm being active and eating healthy that's all that matters that was basically my experience having done a three-day cleanse I probably wouldn't do it again or maybe try other juices that taste better or other smoothies because that was technically a smoothie cleanse more than a juicing cleanse um but that's, diff that's definitely the biggest thing for me was just doing things differently but it was a good experience for me to have i think well but that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it um if you liked it um click the like button down below um you can also subscribe to my channel I really appreciate that and just thank you for watching the video. Bye.